In this video we're going to discuss today how to adjust the slack or tension on a drive chain. First thing we need to do when we are setting our machine up is to make sure that our sprockets are lined up properly. We're going to need a Werner caliper like this. We're going to measure the depth of the hub, whichever side is easiest. I pick this side here. We'll measure this depth here and we'll use it to align the, the second sprocket. Once we've taken our vernier and got the measurement, we're going to place our straight edge on the hub of our um, the one machine we just measured and then we're going to take the caliper and on different points of the sprocket we will measure to make sure that the distances are the same. We can see there um, that the sprocket is a little bit misaligned relative to the straight edge. So we need to make some adjustments on our motor here. In order to determine the amount of slack we need um, on our chain, we need to measure the center distances between the two shafts. So we'll take our long straight edge, you can use a tape measure or something else like that. Measure the distance between the center of each of those sprockets. In this case we have approximately 27 inches and we want to see about 4 to 6 percent on slower running machines of that center to center distance. Now if our machines are running a little bit quicker we can use 2 to 3 percent. We want things to be a little bit tighter um, on faster running machines. But in our case here is we have 27 inches. Um, that I've calculated already to be approximately, if we were to use 4 percent, just over an inch of slack. If we were to use 6 percent, approximately an inch and 5 eighths. Um, that's our range, but if we aim for the middle of about 1 and 3 eighths, I think that would work just great for our chain in this example here. Now to properly um, check the slack or tension on this chain, we need to rotate this sprocket and this sprocket in opposite directions so they tighten towards each other. Kind of like this. Once the sprockets have been turned toward each other, there will be a slack side. In this case, I've turned them toward each other on the top so that the slack side will be on the top of the chain. We want to measure the total displacement of that chain. In this example, I probably have about just about three inches of um, slack. That means the total displacement of the chain from the top all the way to the bottom. We don't want to push hard, but just gently lift the chain to see what the displacement is. Uh, lastly, I would just like to point out the direction of rotation on the motor. Our motor turns this direction here, so counterclockwise which means that the top side of our chain would become the tight side and the bottom side would become the slack side. This is where we would see the um, displacement on the chain when it is moving. Now that we know the direction of rotation of our motor, we can then apply our master link. Just wanted to mention this real quick here. The master link which joins the chain, their little clip that goes on has a, a, a direction that needs to be applied to. We can see it has an open end and a closed end and it needs to travel the closed end in the direction of rotation. So if our chain is rotating that direction, we need to apply the clip so it faces this direction. Think of it like Pac-Man backwards. 